the argument is made that townships actually become good stewards of money because they only actually spend what they have and they don't go into debt. Is your township in debt or? Uh, let me let me talk about that really quickly. Yeah. Oh, I believe me, I would be more than happy to answer that question. You know, you have to keep in mind that especially in populated areas, Cook and the Collar counties, as municipalities grew, townships became responsible for less and less. But because the EAV of the township was going up as a result of development, the township could tax more and more to do less and less. And that's, in fact, what happened. And Bob has actually taught classes where he encourages township officials to max out their tax levies every year. So in Avon Township, we've actually cut taxes by over 20 percent while maintaining the same services to residents. And one of the ways we've been able to do that is by leverage, leveraging community resources and other community organizations in Avon Township. We, as a board, refuse to replicate, uh, du duplicate services. And that has netted an over 20% reduction in taxes for the residents of Avon Township. Now, on top of that, we still have generated record surpluses. That money now is going to be used for an additional tax levy decrease. So when everything is said and done, by the end of my term, we probably will have cut taxes by close to 30% percent and there's no reason that any other township can't do that. You have two choices when you have a surplus. You either spend the money on stuff you just don't need or you give tax cuts. And unfortunately more townships spend money on things they don't need than to give the money back to the taxpayers to whom it belongs. Very often the townships say yes we're sitting on a lot of money, we are continuing to use our tax levy, but when we need something we pay cash for it and, and we are not in debt. Would you address that? Sure. So I talk a lot about best practices. So best practices in terms of what an organization or a business or a government can keep in reserves and what, what is good operating procedure is six to nine months. You're supposed to have six to nine months of your operating budget in reserves um, to make sure that if something terrible happens, you're able to keep going. You don't just stop that day. That's not what happens for townships. Like, I understand what Bob is saying about, you know, stockpiling money in order to be able to pay for things in cash when you need them. But when you need things, that's when you decide how you're going to pay for them. I just, it, it doesn't make any sense to me that you just sit around on taxpayer money until you decide what you want to do with it. There's a question for Larry. Um, are the services mentioned by you solely funded by the city or do the townships assist with funding so that they don't duplicate services? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I, the, 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 it's, since it's a coterminous township, the money is coming from the same taxpayers. I don't know which pot of money it is. It seems to me the city is providing most of it, but uh, look at our city manager. I thought I saw sitting. Uh, oh. Wally, is the township subsidizing the city? Is this calling home for your assistance? <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, the, 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 what the discussion here is doing, and I'm happy we don't have any roads or highways for the township in, in, in Evanston, but, but, you know, township government, like county government, is the safety net for a lot of people, and it's providing a lot of the services that are, are essential. It's always good to look at these services and try to figure out if they're, they're, they're efficiently being provided. That's really what's going on here in Evanston. The discussion is, is this the best way, the current model we have, or are there better models? Even as we're working on this referendum, I know that there are projects going on between the city and the township to try to save additional money. Um, but the, the real question is, in a democracy, the people should get to decide. I think this discussion is important, and I, 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 I hope that the members of the General Assembly will continue to look at the township governments. But I, I think the townships where you don't have people complaining about their township governments are the ones where those township officials have really done a good job of letting their electorate know what the services they're providing. You know, if you go to Thornton, and I, I've gone to Thornton since it's in, in Cook County, I see uh, township buses going everywhere. I see the township health center. I see the, the, the meals that are being provided. I mean, if, if you're a resident of that township, you know a lot more about your township government than I think most Evanstonians know about our township government. And there's probably less, and the same would probably be true in Stickney, knowing uh, former Senator Viverito is the supervisor there. 
But I, I, I think that part of the problem today is that people have lost touch with a lot of these townships. And, and they don't know all the services they're providing. And in our situation, I, I think that we probably even have at this point a broken relationship between the citizens and the township. But we're unique because we're coterminous. Are there any programs that you can name offered by townships that are absolutely more cost effective, dollar to dollar, than what the individual municipality could do? I think we'll do, we will try and keep it simple. A great, you know, there's this perception that every program is duplicated. In reality, not many programs are duplicated at all. That's just the reality, folks. You know, in my community, the Lamont Township provides dial ride a partnership with the RT, or the, not the RTA, the PACE, and they provide the, the total network of transportation inside the township and coordinate that. We have no other services there. The township provides a lot of stuff and drug awareness and social services that we get nothing in Cook County because we are so far, right? they keep thinking we're out in Will County anyway. The cornfields are kind of at least a little bit beyond it. And so each, and I think the, the panels in fairness is saying, you have to look at each individual township. I mean, you got New Trier, you got Niles, you got Lyons, every one of them is different. They all di offer different services. And I think Larry's absolutely correct. There's not many pushback on the townships. There's been some sound bites of negativism of the townships are lost focus, they're not touching base, they're not there. And the TV networks are hitting it. And it, look, it, it sounds like a great story, but there's no traction because it doesn't get anything from the local residents That's because they not, understand I, it. I actually read, uh, when, as part of my job, I really like to pay attention to what's happening across the state. And every day I read papers from across the state. I read the Peoria Journal Star, I read the Rockford Register, I read the Belleville News Democrat. I won't name all the rest of the papers in the state for you. Um, but I do read the editorial pages and I did not plant these letters to the editor, but I do read letters to the editor that are about townships questioning how their township governments are working and wanting an answer to whether or not taxpayers are getting the best bang for their buck. And that's I swear to you, I'm not writing those letters. Within Cook County, there's a difference in the way these are set up. Between a coterminous uh, arrangement like what's happening in Evanston Township versus other townships in the county, and then there's a different scenario between Cook County and many of the townships in downstate Illinois. We're not talking about the same animal in all these situations. Let me help Larry. There are 20 <laughs> coterminous townships in the state of Illinois. Ten of them are identical mirrored to what Evanston is. The city council is the township trustees. They run it. In Evanston, my understanding is the township supervisor even rescinds the seat to allow the mayor to run the township portion of the meeting. So if there's a control factor problem, it's the same players. I don't understand how they disconnect, how you can't do that, but there's 20 townships. That's real easy. 10 of them are like that. The other 10, like Oak Park and, and Berwyn, they have, there's six of the uh, Coterminous townships in Cook County they have a different format. The whole board doesn't slide over. It's a portion of the board that slides. 